Hey guys, this is Matt for Creative. Today we're going to be talking about the reagent in the Binax Now by Abbott. And this isn't clear going to be related to this product um, on an offset. Maybe it is related to the Flowflex. And it's just kind of safety and what you should do with the reagent, one part of the test that you'll be taking. So if you remember in the previous video, if you want, by the way, if you want the entirety of all the information included, me taking the test and all that, for both of these here. Just make sure to go to that previous video. Um, it's a long video, but you get all the information that you possibly do need, except for this. This is just something in terms of safety with the reagent. So again, there is a nasal swab that you stick up your nose, and that nasal swab you will dip into either a vial, a little kind of tube of reagent. That is something that uh, you have to take safety precautions with to kind of do this in a well-ventilated area. And where I'm getting this information from is the official Binax Now COVID-19 reagent PDF by Abbott. So this is listed by their company. And um, yeah, this document has been prepared in accordance with the SDS requirements of the OSHA hazard communication standard. And what's key here is that there's something you have to be uh, careful about is the so sodium azide inside the reagent. And let me just begin with this. I'm not a scientist. This is something that um, somebody brought up to me and I thought it'd be just good information to pass off to you guys. Um, section four here, first aid measures just pertaining to the reagent, that little tube that you'll get in either of these kits. First is first aid measures after inhalation. Remove person to fresh air and keep comfortable for breathing. So that kind of just means do this in a well-ventilated area, maybe open a window. Um, first aid measures after skin contact. Wash skin with plenty of water. So just make sure don't get on your skin. Maybe wear some of those latex gloves if, if you have those around. First aid measures after eye contact. Rinse eyes with water as a precaution. If you have goggles, it's always good to kind of have those on here when you're de dealing with any kind of chemical. Um, first aid measures after ingestion. Call a poison center slash doctor slash physician if you feel unwell. So that just basically means don't drink the reagent and that's think you'll be perfectly fine. Now, I got all this information um, just Googling Binax Now Safety Measures. And you can find this PDF, it's online, it's readily available from Abbott. And um, if you just kind of want, you may kind of screenshot these if you like. I'm going to go down this, 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 and finally this. There's a lot of information. Again, I'm not a scientist, so I'm not going to go over anything that I don't clearly understand, but it's just good to have this information about kind of doing this test in a well-ventilated area, maybe with latex gloves and with some kind of eye protection. I remember in one of them, I was even wearing these glasses and it was, yeah, this, you know, it's just good to have. So yeah, if you guys have any questions about the safety concerns, anything in particular about the Binax now or the, I always forget, Flowflex, just let me know, put it in the comment section below. This could be helpful information for you and anybody else. Don't forget guys, I'm on Instagram at m8b9. You can email me at matt8b9 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching guys. This is just good information to have for everybody. I think it is. Let's get that screenshot. Is it me and the tests? And that's it. And that's it. Thank you guys. And I will see you next time.